What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is Ryan from ZenFX, and I am making this video today to help you guys in setting up your VPS and local trade copiers. Big shout out to my entire Forex family, all my Zen Xers, Zeneration X. Listen, if you're not a part of ZenFX, our community, you know, I've got all the links. I'll push, uh, post them down below. Um, we've got our Facebook page, our Telegram channel, our Instagram page, and we're all about just putting out free content and making the world of Forex a little bit easier and a lot cheaper to navigate for all of you out there who might just be starting out or even for advanced traders. Um, please come join our community. And this is, if you're just stumbling across this through YouTube, and you're just trying to find a way to set up a VPS on your own, um, come check out our EA program. Uh, we've got a ton of good EAs that we've got going and that we're testing out more and more every day. And this video is just to help out anybody that wants to get up and running with a VPS and a, and a local trade copier, which you will definitely need to set up to take advantage of that. So let's get started. I want to try and make this quick for you guys. So local trade copier and a VPS. Let me give you the theory so you can wrap your head around how this works. And then we'll get into like some actual demonstrations on setting one up. I'll set one up live in front of you. Um, I've got the links to all the resources that you need, um, including what VPS service I use personally, uh, the trade copier that I use. And um, so let's get started. So a VPS or a virtual private server is basically just a computer. Um, and I'm going to start from the ground up. Please don't. Don't hate me if this is too basic for some of you, but this is just for everybody and anybody. So it's basically a computer in the cloud that's being hosted on an actual physical server and um, it runs 24-7. It doesn't ever shut off. It doesn't ever have blackouts as far as an internet service provider. And that's what you're paying for is so that you don't have to run your laptop or your own computer uh, all day long and uh, you won't have to worry about missing trades in case maybe like your Cox internet provider goes out for a couple hours in your area or something like that. So, you know, you're, that's what you're paying five, ten dollars a month for, depending on the package that you that you choose. So, again, the VPS is just talking about the the virtual computer, if you will that you're setting up and inside of that VPS you will be running an operating system or an OS I recommend using Windows Server if you guys are more tech savvy and you want to run Linux or Ubuntu or something like that you know be, be my guest but if you're just a, a tech novice you're, you're gonna be running the Windows Server OS uh, I recommend 2008 or 2012 no need to spring for the extra money for 2016 I don't think it's necessary so we have our operating system just like if we were to power up our laptop and just log into windows on a normal physical computer now inside of that laptop you are going to need to install multiple things one of those things is going to be your mt4 trading platform but you're going to need to install multiple installations of it and we'll talk about how we do that and some of the simplest ways to do that but just know that first you're gonna have to install a master account and that is the account that's connected to any of the EAs that we provide with an account number and an investor password login right then that is going to be connected to another MT4 account which is your slave account and that's how we'll refer to them going forward the master account is basically the one that is running the EA or expert advisor which is just an automated trading robot and then the slave account is the one that you have your personal account set up on whether it be a demo account or your actual live account that's where you'll host that and you have to keep them separate and I'll go over why as we go along but just for now wrap your mind around the fact that you need at least two accounts for every EA that you're gonna run or two installations so if we have another EA we have to install another two MT4 installations and so on and so forth 
And the way that that's going to work is we have our VPS, we have our operating system. One MT4 is going to host the master account and on that MT4 you will in, you will log in with the EA investor login and you will install your local trade copier provider expert advisor. Okay, know that we're going to be using the term EA not only for the trading automated robot, but your local trade copier also runs an EA. So make sure that you know the difference between the two and you'll understand it better when I show you um, on the screen how we install them and how we run them. Then that is going to be connected to your slave account which is going to run your local trade copier receiver EA. And like I said, that's going to be connected to your demo or your live account. So on one MT4, you'll be send you'll be sending the trades to your other MT4, which will be receiving them. So if you're a football fan, think of this MT4 account here as the quarterback. He's calling the plays, and this MT4 is your wide receiver who's going to take that in for a touchdown. Yeah, I think it's a good analogy. And then for every EA that you want to connect to, you have to repeat this process on separate installations. So you see how we have the overall VPS, which is our, our computer, we'll call it, our laptop. And then inside, it has multiple installations within that VPS. So for every EA, you will need and this is just repeating what I've already said, two installations of MT4. One's the master, one's your own, which is the slave. So think about that. So for every EA, you need two. So if you're running one, you'll need two installations. Two, you'll need four installations. Three, you'll need six installations, etc., etc. So I'm not gonna drive that point into the ground, but what I do want you to keep in mind is keep your system resources in mind. And by that I mean your, um, uh, your, your CPU, your processor, and your RAM, or your random access memory. They, so for whatever VPS you sign up for, right, you're gonna be allotted uh, a hard drive size, a certain amount of RAM, and a certain uh, CPU or a processor that can handle only so much. Every installation that you put on there and run consecutively is going to add a little bit more to that process, a little bit more to that load, you can say. So you have to make sure you, you watch that in your control panel because you can, you can only handle so much and at a certain amount you're going to either need to, if you want to run more than two or three EAs, um, you're going to either need to upgrade to a more robust VPS or uh, get a second one. You know, and it's, to it's totally up to you how you want to attack that problem, whatever is, you know, within your budget. So, that being said, let us take a look at an actual VPS. All right. So this is me inside of my own uh, VPS and I'm going to, now you usually do this outside of a VPS to get it set up in the beginning, but let me just show you what it looks like um, from a browser. So to set up a VPS, okay, you're, you're going to want to go to obviously a provider and sign up for one and let me show you what how that would work. The one I recommend is one and one VPS. Uh, they do very affordable VPSs. They're very reliable. I'm running um, a couple of them as we speak. Um, very affordable. Okay, so if you go to server and virtual server, you can see some of the, the packages that they have. I recommend the Cloud M just to get you started. That can run four instances of MT4 or two EAs, uh, no problem, no problem. So if you grab that, and let's just let's just say we were going to sign up for it, okay? You want to get a Windows operating system, okay? Like I said, you can go eight or 
2012. I would go 2012. Uh, you don't need Plesk. Just trust me, you don't. Um, and you can choose your data center. And that's going to determine, I mean, USA or just wherever you're closest to, it's, it's fine. And then that's it. You check out. I would just do uh, month to month. You could just try it out for one month and then, uh, you know, see how that works for you. So once you've done that, let me show you this. Do, do, do. So I am so unorganized. You're going to bring up this uh, console. Let me get the. Uh, let me just remove my own information out of there real quick. Okay. So you're going to come here and you're going to. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to log into your control panel once they send you all of the the pertinent information, right? Let me log into mine and I can show you what I'm talking about. Just not trying to share all my info. Okay. So, here's your control panel and then the way you access your VPS is you go to cloud and I've gone over this in um, one of the other videos, but you go to cloud and you choose your server and just select KVM console right here. And that'll take you to what we're looking at right now. So that's first off. That'll get you into the VPS to start setting things up. Let me give you two pieces of quick advice. This is completely up to you, um, but two things that I run on my own, just for maintenance. Uh, Malwarebytes is a great free, um, do, do, do. free, uh, what is it? Uh, antivirus. God, I can't think today. So it's a free antivirus you can download, and it's just a little bit of, of added protection. Not completely necessary, but um, I just like to have it for my own, because no computer is completely secure. And then once you first log into your server, bring up server manager, go to local server, and this right here, IE enhanced configuration, turn that off. Okay, turn that off because you're not going to be able to download really much of anything when it's on. And it's on by default when you first start out. So turn that off. And then I would also suggest you download Chrome. I don't like to use IE. Not a lot of pop-ups work on IE. Not a lot of websites work on IE. It's just very, it's, it's one of the worst ones in my opinion. So anyways, download Chrome and, and work off of that going forward. So once you've done that, then you're going to need to install multiple instances of, um, of MT4. So how do we do that? So you're going to go to whatever broker that you want to use. Currently, I'm using JAFX. Download the MT4 installation um, package, the EXE file from their, their website, and then you're going to run it like usual. And here's how you can install multiple installations. Because I just prefer to run, if I'm using JFX, I just use their platform for everything and I just rename them so it's easier to keep track of. So you agree and then what you're going to want to do is go into settings. Okay, this will bring this up. So what you do is you just add a customized installation folder. And the easiest way to do that is to at the very end of the installation folders address add something like slave 4 I already have three running right now I think three let me do five just to be on the safe side so you're gonna add that and you can make it slave 1 master 1 slave 2 master 2 however you want to keep track of it on your own the point is that you're going to create a different installation folder for each setup and that's going to allow you to make multiple like you see I have down here at the bottom right multiple setups okay and then you just hit next 
Bada boom, bada bing. I should have unchecked the go to MQL site, but we'll just roll with that because actually what I want to also show you is then once you get that installed, you're also going to need to install the trade copier and auto FX Pro, yeah. The one I use is auto FX Pro and you can uh, do, do, do. Have the... what you want is the local trade copier and you can um, rent that or you can buy it straight out easy peasy lemon squeezy that's the one I use if you if you want to use anything else I know there's one from FX blue that is just completely free I can't help you with that one I don't use that one and I've heard people tell me that it's a nightmare to, to set up um, so that's that's completely on you whatever you want to do so just go to local trade copier that's what you need download the EA's from that there it is local trade copier Ooh, I think you can even get it free for something out of like a trial whatever there's the prices so get that downloaded and then so you're gonna wanna open an account um, I've already got the master account set up. You know, it takes a little while. You gotta, you gotta make it to all your personal preferences and yada yada yada. But let's uh, let's set up a slave account, and then I'll show you how to connect the two. So I just go to JFX Demo Three. If it's not on your broker's list of servers, just type that in and scan for it. Um, new demo account, and then I gotta fill in all my information. And let's just do, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. And do, do. All right, fine. Uh, I can spell my own name. All right, sorry, and then we're gonna do, uh, let's just do a thousand, one to 500 leverage, totally agree. Um, yep. Let's go. Hey, whenever you're ready. Okay. And there, and then this is going to give you your login, your password, your investor password, um, all that great stuff. Now, if you if you don't write that down right away, don't worry about it. Easiest way to recall that information, right here in your mailbox, new account registration. Look at that. It's all right there. I'd copy and paste that, put it onto a, like a notepad document and just save it to your desktop just for, um, you know, quick reference. But it's right there if you ever need it. All right, and then we've got our things here. And so what I'll do is I'll put this over here. We don't need this anymore. Okay, and I'll bring up the master account that I've already got going here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your data folder and copy and no 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 copy and paste the experts into your experts okay on your master you're going to copy and paste the remote trade copier expert and on your receiver they'll give you an unlimited amount of remote trade receiver EAs um, that you can that you put into the slave account and then You'll go to Expert Advisors, Refresh, boom, and those will pull up. So let me pull that up, actually, and so you'll give you these two. You go for like this one. I'll go Trade Receiver EX4 uh, is what you want to use for 
um, for MT4. I should have just done this. And yep. Just paste that in there. Okay, so now we have it right there. And then like I said, it won't show up right away. Just hit refresh. Now it's there. Okay. Now what you're gonna have to do is on both the receiver and the copier, you're gonna have to go to options and you're gonna have to go to expert advisors and check these three boxes to allow it to auto trade. Okay, that's what's gonna give you this little happy face. And then you're gonna add these two URLs into there and they'll give you that information when you receive the package from Remote Trade Copy or from AutoFX Pro. So don't feel like you have to write that down or uh, memorize it real quick. You'll get all that information from them. I'm just telling you this is what you need to do. Put that in there, okay? And then easy way. Do, 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 do. This is already getting annoying. Okay, so you go into both of them, check, check, turn on auto trading, and then you can just copy and paste these. and hit OK and you're good. Then you'll take this expert advisor, right? Yep, allow live trading, allow DLL imports, all those dependencies, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. So now I've got the receiver set up, I've got the copier set up. Yes, great. So then you're gonna wanna make sure this is set to local, not remote. If you do it remote, it's going to go outside of the VPS, come back in, and you're going to lose precious milliseconds and uh, pips to get the trade to actually copy over. So make sure you set both the local. You click on yes, I know what I'm doing. Okay. And then you're going to want to go to this provider list and put in the account number for the master account and just put a, a description like master one, master two, masters of the universe, whatever and then hit enable. And of course it's telling me there's no provider because I haven't added one, but once you do, this will light up orange and this will start blinking like this and you got your local connection. Then make sure you set it for whatever you want. As far as lot size, you can do fixed lot size. That way you control it to only take mini, micro, or standard lots for every trade. You can do a um, ratio to your balance. So you can say like, I want it to trade a mini lot for every thousand dollars that's in balance that's in my account I think that's really good risk management that's a that's a decent one um, or you can do ra ratio or multiply by provider lot size and just do one to one so if this EA is taking different size of trades based on the system that it's using you can take those exact same so if it give if it does like 2.5 micro lots or mini lots um, for the first trade and then only one mini lot for the second trade, it'll copy those exactly over. So you have those options and that's how you can control your own risk management on your side. Oh, no, I don't want to exit that out. So that's how you get all that set up. Very straightforward, um, very easy. And you're just going to repeat that process for every uh, account or every EA that you want to set up. You'll set up a new master account, name it whatever you want, log in with that uh, EA's account and investor password, and then you'll set up um, a trade receiver on the other side and set those up. So very simple to do. You can even do these with your own accounts. Um, I, I know that there's a, you know, I, I watched a video that talked about risk management that a lot of people that are starting out using like this might be why you came to this video that when you're starting out you use a demo account to trade off of and only use micro lots so it's only like 10 cents when you know when you go into drawdown but you have that copying over to a live account that you don't ever look at you just let it copy the trades that way you only see this like 50 cents of drawdown while you're trading but on your live account, it might be like $50, but you don't see that, so it doesn't psychologically make you second guess your, your own trading. 
right? It's like a, it's a psychological workaround for people that have a hard time or like to watch their trades um, and then get, you know, freaked out when it goes into negative and all that. So, um, you know, to each their own. I've used both systems personally. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's really all there is to it. I hope that this has helped you guys out a little bit and help you guys get up and running. So if you have any questions, um, my, my suggestion is please post them in our ZenFX group page. Uh, don't message me personally, but post them there because you're not the only one that's probably having that issue. And I can answer it personally, but then everyone can see that answer and we can kind of build up a little bit of, um, you know, a, a support Q&A library that people that are coming in later into the program can reference at that time. So I think that's a good idea. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Very simple. Uh, lots of room for you to customize it in any way that you want. So again, I am Ryan with ZenFX. Um, if you've liked or um, you know found this helpful in any way, please um, you know give me a like, give me a sub, come over to our Facebook page, come over to our Telegram channel. Uh, everything will be listed in the comments below. Uh, again, if I can be of any help, hit me up. And as always, let's get those pips.